Yes, there is an issue around how much and to what extent children participate in transmission. There are real issues around how schools can be reopened safely, but the best and safest way to reopen schools is in the context of low community transmission that has been effectively suppressed by a broad-based comprehensive strategy. We can't move from let's deal with the schools and then we all deal with that for a week or two and then let's deal with the workplace or then let's deal with infection in hospitals or long-term care facilities. This is playing whack-a-mole. We have got to focus on a comprehensive long-term strategy that focuses on everything at one time, but we can't turn schools into yet another political football in this game. Uh, it's, it's not fair on our children. So we have to look at this carefully in the light of the transmission in any given country or any given setting, and we have to make decisions that are based on the best interests of our children, be it their educational or their health interests. And that must be based on data. That must be based on understanding the risks in the specific setting in which schools are. If we suppress the virus in our society, in our communities, then our school, schools can open safely. And there are many countries around the world in which schools are reopening successfully and safely because countries have dealt with the real problem, community transmission.